welcome to today's episode of Happy Docs. My name is RJ and I'll be your host on our train wrecking journey to discovering today's topic of RJ Does Fashion. Before we continue, please like and subscribe so we can continue creating more content like this in the future. I'd also like to give a massive shout out to Birmingham Fashion Council, our city's own annual runway show, who helped provide us an opportunity to entertaining, inspiring and educating me in fashion. So troopers, let's get into the video. So uh, welcome guys uh, to today's episode of uh, Arjadir's Fashion. Uh, today we're here to kind of spectate a new little event that's occurring in Birmingham, which is the Birmingham Fashion Weekend. Um, we're here to kind of understand what's so special about Birmingham's fashion scene, um, who's involved and uh, can we actually encourage more people to join the scene, you know. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys kind of join me on this journey and, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy the process of uh, talking to these incredible people. Have you ever thought about being a model? Well, I have and today was my first chance at walking a runway whilst nobody was watching. Even though nobody was looking, I found that being confident about my body and what I wear was a big hurdle to overcome, especially when you're presenting to a large crowd. I wanted to start off by asking today's attendees what they were wearing and what fashion meant to them. So uh, we have Tashik here, uh, our director's uh, little cameo. Um, so I just want to ask you what you're wearing today. Anything, sp uh, anything special? Mm, not really. Thrifted this shirt maybe like a few months ago up in Manchester. It says dicks on it. It's cool. And uh, yeah, we've got um, some G-Star jeans on. So um, yeah. Oh, lovely. Um, so what does uh, fashion mean to you? Um, well, I think that it's a personal expression of art, which is cool because you can actually wear it. You can show it. And it's, they say like your body's a canvas. Go out and you can kind of show that. So I think it's a cool way to, I don't know, show how creative you are as a person through that. Perfect. Uh, so would you like to just introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Robin. I am a fashion illustrator from Birmingham. Uh, awesome. So uh, I just want to ask, uh, what, are you wearing anything special today? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Zoe Bennett, also known as the Motivational Queen, and apparently I inspire confidence and create transformation in other people. Now, I am very lucky to be the Vice President of the Birmingham Fashion Council, where we bring opportunities and create a platform for those creatives to explore themselves and to share with the rest of those around them what they have to offer. Oh, perfect. And I just want to ask you, um, what, are you wearing anything special today? Yes, I'm wearing me. I am wearing uniquely me. And I'm always encouraging people, make sure you are uniquely yourself, you show up as yourself, and especially in fashion, you own it. Lovely. I want to ask you, what does fashion mean to you? Fashion, you represent who you are, what you are, and it gives a sense of intent. Do you know what I mean? You wear your clothes with pride, with a sense of this is me, do you know what I mean? And you, you want to step out and you feel good when you step out as well, so yeah. Okay, okay, so basically, I think fashion is the interpretation of how you see life, how you express yourself, and for me, that's what fashion means, basically. How you it just means being free, being free to express yourself, being free to show to other people that you are eagerly awaiting just for people to say, Do you know what, I stand in my purpose. I know who I am and I'm going to show the world who I am through the art of expression, through the creativity that we possess. I stand in my purpose. My purpose to entertain, inspire and educate you incredible people. So just a reminder for you all to like and subscribe, it certainly goes a long way for us. And stay till the end of the documentary. Now before we move on to going behind the scenes with the models, let's get some word of advice for creatives wanting to get into the world of fashion. Um, so what's your word of advice for people uh, getting into this industry? I would advise them to um, never give up and always keep going, always keep thriving, thriving through anything what you do. All right, perfect. And I also want to ask, what's uh, your word of advice for people your age who are trying to get into this? Don't really care what other people say, just like go off what you want to do and that's really it. I would say have a target audience, who you want to target in, in the world or what you want to do. So for instance, if it's sports, if it's leisure, if it's casual wear, if it's formal wear, if it's gym wear, and just, just go for it. You know what I mean, have a, a sense of purpose, what, 
why do you want to do it? That's the first and foremost question. Do you know what I mean? Why do you want to do it? And then don't let failure stop you from doing it. I always look at the word failure as first attempt in learning. And if you have a lot of no's, use it as the next opportunity. Perfect. And uh, like, you know, what's your word of advice for people that are trying to get into what you're doing? <sighs> patience, because um, you need a lot of patience. Um, you need to be very passionate and friendly. Friendly is super key, super important. The reason why is because you need to start networking with people. That's how you get opportunities. That's how you get into places like this. Um, just sort of be yourself, you know, and you also have to be a bit... Experiment, trial and error is key. Um, the more you try, the more you find out. There's nothing wrong with getting it wrong. If only I was a beautiful demigod of a model. I suppose all of you are lucky because God nerfed me bro. But I'm not going to lie, I am absolutely inspired. Now after talking to a handful of people, I wanted to get behind the scenes of the runway and see what our models had to say about fashion, style and their trial and tribulations. Uh, would you just like to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name's Fiona. Um, I'm a signed model um, and I'm based in Manchester. Perfect. Um, so what tips would you give to someone like me to dress well? <laughs> to you, to dress well? I think just find a style that works for you. Um, I feel like less is more for sure. Um, I'm a big advocate for that. And yeah, I think don't be afraid to try something new though. Yes. Perfect. Uh, for the lead of this showcase, uh, how does your day normally look like? Because um, I'm also a college student wake up early, go college, finish that. If I have a photo shoot in the evening, get to Birmingham and do that. Okay, so what opportunities are there in Birmingham for people like yourself? I feel like you need a lot of networking, like connections to know what opportunities there are. Once you do, it's so much easier. Like you can find different places for like castings and like festivals like these, like opportunities, so yeah. Um, what opportunities are there for makeup artists in Birmingham? It depends what kind, because I feel like with a makeup artist, there are plenty of different routes you can go down. Um, you can either just be in retail, you can either do fashion shows, but it is just taking every opportunity that comes to you. Like something like this is a good way to network, uh, again, meet new people, like you never know who's going to be at these shows and things. So I just think any opportunity. You need to grab it with everything that you can. Perfect. And, uh, you know, like what opportunities are there in Birmingham for someone like yourself? Um, I know with uni, there's a lot of placements. That's, that's how I'm here today. They've, they've given me a lot, a lot of opportunity to come forward and gain experience, which I yeah, appreciate. That's why I'm here today. With models, it's a bit harder because Birmingham is not as big as London. So I go a lot to London so I've been modeling for like eight years and Birmingham is a bit dry for modeling but you'd have to like apply to agencies if you want to go as a agency model freelance is a bit harder because jobs is not as big as you know opportunities and that are bigger in London. It's always a bit unfortunate that London is considered as always the brighter side. I'm very glad that we have something to call our very own and I'm very happy that Birmingham Fashion Council is the first step towards moving that light into the West Midlands. Before we continue, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed our documentary so far. Now we'll be showing you the model's mindset when striking the runway, and we'll get deep into feelings in just a short while. Yeah. Do you want to just give us like a little demo of how you'd kind of present yourself on stage? Um, so I'll just be sort of preparing beforehand, take a, a few breaths, Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And uh, just try to like stand a bit firm, you know? And just walk, you know, it's just, you don't have to overdo it, you know, because if you try too much, then you sort of don't flow with what you're actually representing, you know? Just do it, just go with the flow, just vibe with it, you know? You don't overdo it, don't complicate it. Uh, could, could you like show us like how you would present yourself like uh, what do you mean? yeah do, would you like to would you like to walk from there to us and give us a striking look that you'd kind of give I usually we do on the beat but for you i'll make an exception ah lovely thank you very much i appreciate that okay so okay, so we're going to start 
Just a small little walk. But that's without the beat. Hey yo, I can't believe that you made modeling look that easy. And uh, how hard is it to be successful in what you're doing? I think it is a very competitive industry, but I think if you enjoy it and you know you don't let the downsides get to you, it's definitely rewarding. So yeah, for sure. Depends how much heart you put into it. If you dedicate yourself into the profession, you will get the in easy steps. But yes, there, you might fall down, but you need to have the strength to get up and keep going. Um, for myself, I can say that I haven't put myself out there that much, so I, I can't say I'm very successful, but I'm learning to put myself out there more, so I'm hoping after that I can become more successful. It depends what you define as successful. <laughs> I could define myself as successful, I might not be as big as uh, Kate Moss or but in my world, uh, in my life, I'm, I'm quite successful. Depends where, where I come from, so I feel like I've come a long way. It depends on the person because you need like, sorry, you need the, a good mindset. You need to just persevere because you're not always going to say, like, you're not always going to get the role. You're not always going to get into what you want. So you just need to just carry on and do what you love. So it's not going to be easy. It's never easy. Um, how hard is it to be successful in what you do, makeup artist? It's difficult, like she said, like you're always going to get your nose, you're going to get turned away and then some things like that some people will tend to just give up but you've just got to just maybe shed a tear or two and then you've just got to grow and then carry on doing what you're doing because if you don't carry on then the success won't come to you. Wow, utterly inspiring and I totally agree. Keep on doing what you're doing because if you don't, then success won't come to you. Make the first move. Yeah, and what's two things that you love about what you do um, that keeps you going? Um, well, with modeling, I feel like it's just fun anyway. Like, it's a new experience to me. And I feel like it, it genuinely does keep me going through like confidence and things like that. And I get to meet new people and go new places. So yeah, that definitely just makes me want to do it even more. And what are two things that you love about what you do? I'd say the travelling and the meeting new people. I love like networking and meeting new people every single day. And then... Hmm, I'd say just the artistic side. Like I love the freeness of being able to do whatever you like depending obviously on briefs and things like this. For me, it is the people, like meeting new people and being able to work with different creatives and also creating something new, so. Um, I love how you can be creative and I think the people you work with as well, models, um, they give you a good confidence boost, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, and just connecting with different people in the industry, whether it's makeup artists or photographers or anyone that is gets, gets involved and um, just finding your way in life, I don't know. Having talked to our hard-working models, I wanted to learn more from those who dress these people, the inventors, designers, and businessmen and women who think of incredible ideas and make them a reality. A lot of these designers were busy though, but we did get the chance to talk to a few of them. Yeah. So um, I'm Wendy, I am the designer of She Flipped It, a sustainable fashion brand where we take old clothes from vintage shops, charity shops, transform them and make them into something new and creative that's quite modern. Um, so how hard is it to be successful in what you do? Ooh, <laughs> I think success, it depends how you're measuring it, because success for someone maybe can be, I've not reached 100 customers, I've not reached a million pounds, I've not reached you know, a thousand followers on Instagram. So I think success is personal and it changes every single time. So for me being quite small, I'd say my own success is having my family and friends here just being proud of me. That's how I'd kind of put my success. Yeah, the very first thing of course is passion. The love for what you do basically, that's what keeps you going as a creative. And then when you make sales every now and then, it just, it just makes it more encouraging and you know, you just want to keep doing it again. Yeah, and then the second thing will be putting a smile on people's faces. And uh, I want to ask you, um, do you think uh, the Birmingham fashion scene is supportive? Not enough that it should do, do you know what I mean? I think 
there's a lack in that drive. I think coming to Birmingham, it's harder because I think Birmingham follows the trend of London. So what's say happening in London, then it gets filtered up up the, up the country. I think Birmingham has a lot of young, enthusiastic uh, entrepreneurs in fashion, but it's not very supported when it, when it should be because there's a lot of unique people here, especially here today. And uh, what are two things that you love about what you do uh, that kind of keeps you going? I think it's the reward at the end of it. So during the process, it's a headache. You're stressing, you want to cry, you want to give up. But seeing that end part is the most rewarding piece. So that's one thing. And as well, just kind of getting the feedback from everyone, so friends and family and from strangers as well. Just kind of getting that support is something that keeps me going. I totally agree. The hard work is always within the process of making something great. The reward is seeing that reflection of hard work through its impact on others. My day at the Birmingham Fashion Council was absolutely lovely. I loved the people, the show, the clothing and the creative atmosphere there was in that large building. I certainly look forward to going again and I certainly encourage many more models, photographers, presenters and makeup artists, designers and many more to get involved. This is a community effort. Let's help each other be greater than great. If you've enjoyed this documentary, I hope you like and subscribe to our channel. We don't just post Happy Docs related content. We make short films, community discussions, tutorials and so much more. Support our growth by following our journey.